Hawks Hoops Talking Squad. There's James Harden's situation with the Philadelphia 76ers. Man, just this whole fiasco is just a reminder of the clown show of an organization the Sixers are and how they suffer from whack dynamics. Some may call it a curse. I call it, consider it whack dynamics. And I knew this is how it was going to play. I knew his fat brick raw slash bongo slay looking ass was going to still be on the roster because you know Sixers management is too stupid like they're first they're stubborn and stupid which is a dangerous combination you knew Harden didn't want to be here so they had all off season to trade his fat ass which they failed to do because Maury wanted to be greedy and wanted too much. And I, now, now I understand getting some value, getting something of value in return, but it is what it is. Down instead, you're coming into a season with yet another disgruntled player on the roster who's going to do nothing but spread negative, low vibrational energy amongst the rest of the team as they enter the 2023-24 NBA season. Now, hopefully something gets worked out with the Clippers. That's likely the best trade destination and trade partner for this whole scenario, but something should have been done. You know, you're not getting a superstar in return. Harden's past his prime. And all of those people like, well, we let the league get assists. He averaged 20 and 10. And the same cats that mentioned Harden winning this two games in that Boston series, which is true, but yet what happened in game seven? He choked. Epically. He epically choked in game seven, which resulted in another second round exit for the Sixers. Now you have him on the roster and it's been reported that he'll be with the team when they open up the season against the Milwaukee Bucks tomorrow. But we all know he only showed up. So he won't be fined that $389,000 that he will miss for each game that he's not with the team. Now, he supposedly was away from the team due to personal matters concerning his mom's health or whatever now. I'm not going to get into whether his mom was really sick or anything. That's none of our business, but it's just real convenient timing. That's all I'm going to say on that matter. Hopefully everything is all right with his moms or whatever. But again, it's just real convenient timing that he is away from the team for personal matters throughout the preseason stretch. Now, and I wonder what the next line of excuses will be. But I knew this was how it was going to play out. We were all happy to finally trade Ben Simmons. And this is what we get in return. Yeah, the season and a half that Harden suited up for the Sixers, he did lead the league in assists. 
the only sixer besides Will Chamberlain to lead the league in assists. You know, we had a solid, average a solid 20 and 10 last season. He had his moments where he looked like Houston Harden, but, and he did come through in the clutch in that game one win in Boston and the game four win in that same series in Philly, which tied the series 2 2. But what happened in game seven? A complete shit show. That's what happened. I mean, but that's what he's been known for. And I've stated that in a previous video. You know what I mean? He always chokes when it's for all the marbles. Hence, game seven of last year's Easter Conference semifinals. But this is just <clears throat> more evidence of the Sixers organization being a shit show that suffer from whack dynamics. This doesn't surprise me at all. The whole circus during the offseason between Harden and Daryl Morey, that old lover's quarrel, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> Supposedly, Maury lied to Harden and James stating that he'll never play for any organization that Daryl Morey's a part of. But yet, no trades were made. And you know, the homers will be like, oh, they shouldn't get peanuts for him or whatever. But yeah, you don't want or need a disgruntled player on the roster or in the locker room even around the other players as we head into a new NBA season. I mean, you don't need that. Now, and I get that there might not be any bad blood between Harden and the current roster, but still, you don't need those type of dynamics around the team regardless if they get along or not. But you don't need that negative low vibrational energy. You know, so hopefully a trade is made soon. I'll really be surprised if Harden actually suits up for the Sixers this season. Like, I would really be surprised and so with tons of other folks. There's <clears throat> realistically not too many people expect him to suit up for the team and the assumption is that he'll be traded sooner than later. You know? Now, since he knows he'll be fine for any games that he misses or is away from the team or whatever, he knows that. So it'll be some BS, some personal reason, some phantom injury that'll prevent him from playing. It's just like, man, this is all entertaining. <laughs> Besides, hopefully, some good basketball in Philly this upcoming season. You have this media circus. You have more clown shit entertainment. But that's what happens when the organization is owned by a bozo. I mean, bozo shit like this happens. Once again, the Sixers are the laughing stock of the league. You traded one disgruntled star who refused to suit up for the team for another disgruntled star. Only this star is past his prime. You know, and he's been acting more of a diva than even Simmons was. <laughs> it's funny because the same cat that hated Ben Simmons and were thinking the universe and the basketball guides for trading him for Harden 
they now hate hard. Well, majority of them anyway. Like the rest of them, you know, they'll, they've been deflecting, making excuses. You know how they do. You know how the fanboys do. They make excuses for their favorite player and just pretend that he didn't just shit the court in that game seven against Boston. You know, that's how they do. So, anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I would be real surprised. I would be real surprised if James Harden does suit up tomorrow. I mean, let's say he does suit up and he gives you that 20 and 10. And all of a sudden, he has a attitude change and he's committed to playing out the season with the Sixers. I mean, that'd be great. But in my opinion, the Sixers' success doesn't hinge on Harden. And, you know, the fanboys can say, oh, I don't know what I'm talking about, whatever, whatever, but that's just how I feel. I feel that our success doesn't hinge on whether heart and suits up for this season or not. Well, I said, don't get me wrong. It'd be great if he does. I mean, all the greats want to win the championship. He knows he ain't going to get too many more opportunities to be one of your leading guys on a championship team, so we shall see. Anyway, this was just some Hawks Hoops talking squad. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more content. Hawk out.